Hello students. In this video, we will see some of the previous year CET questions based on chemical thermodynamics. Let's see the first one. Bond energy of hydrogen gas is given that is minus 433 kJ. Whenever this type of energy is given, it is always for one mole as the unit is kJ per mole. They are asking for half mole. So for half mole, it will be exactly half of this that is 216.5 kJ. But students, if you see this, your answer will be negative here. But they are asking for bond dissociation energy. For dissociating the bond, you have to supply energy. And so it will be an endothermic reaction. So your answer will be with the positive sign. So answer here is fourth option. Let's see the next question. Heat of neutralization will be minimum for which of the following combinations. Students always remember we have four combinations here. The first is of strong acid and strong base. The second is strong acid, weak base, weak acid, strong base and weak acid, weak base. For the first one, the energy here of neutralization is maximum that is minus 57 kJ per mole. For both the combinations where one of the component is weak, here the energy is minus 51. Whereas for the weakest combination of weak acid and weak base, it is minus 48. Now here the negative sign indicates that the energy is released and it's an exothermic reaction. So it will be maximum for a strong acid and a strong base and minimum for a weak acid and a weak base. So let's find the combinations here. So if you see the combination of a weak acid and a weak base, answer here is second option. Let's see the next question. In this question, they are asking you to calculate the work done. So let us first write down what all things are given. Here the pressure is given, which is 100 kilopascal. What I can write it as 10 raised to 5 pascal. Second is V1 is given. V1 is 1 dm cube. I have to convert this to cubic meter. So that is equal to 10 raised to minus 3 cubic meter. And V2 is given as 1 cubic meter. So students, we can use the formula of W is equal to minus P delta V. Substitute the values 10 raised to 5, 1 minus 10 raised to minus 3. So this you will get it as 10 raised to 5 multiplied by 0 0.999. So the answer you will get here is 99900 J. So the answer here is second option. Let's see the next question. The heat of formation of sulfur dioxide. So let us write the reaction for the formation of sulfur dioxide. It will be S plus O2 giving SO2. Now if you see this, this is 32 gram when is used, you get minus 298 kJ of energy. Therefore, if you use 4 gram, then it will be how much? This is the simple equation. If you see this, this amount has become 1.8. So energy will also reduce to 1.8. So it will be minus 298 divided by 8. So the answer here is 37.25. So here the answer is second option. Let's see the next question. Carbon dioxide gas does not follow gaseous laws at all ranges of pressure and temperature because now students here the concept is of ideal gas. You know students that ideal gas if I consider the size it is negligible as compared to the size of the real gas molecules. Volume which is occupied by the ideal gas if I consider the volume of an ideal gas then the volume occupied by the ideal gas if it is V it is negligible in comparison to the total volume occupied by the gas. And therefore, real gases, their size is finite and we can say that the volume of the real gases is equal to the volume of the container. Now, according to this, if I write the equation for an ideal gas, PV is equal to NRT. Now, here we make some corrections here. The pressure correction is A, N square by V square and for volume, we make the correction by NB. This is equal to nrt now this is because of the size of the particle and this is because of the correction in the pressure because of the attraction so here a and b both are van der waals constant and this is because of the uh, there is attraction forces between the molecules so the answer here is 
third option. Let's see the next question. Here, the standard molar heat of formation of ethane, carbon dioxide and water, they are given. So, let us mark the equations for the formation of ethane. I will give this as the first equation. The second equation is formation of carbon dioxide. I will give this as equation 2. And formation of water, I will give this as equation 3. I am not writing the reactants because it is formation. So, those will be formed on the product side. Now, what is the required equation, student? They are asking to calculate the standard heat of combustion of ethane molecule. So, the required equation will be C2H6 plus, I am balancing the equation. So, this will be CO2 plus H2O. This is the balanced equation. By using Hess law, we have to solve this. So, let us use Hess law. If I see this, I want carbon dioxide and water on the product side. I will get it from equation 2 and 3 after multiplying it by 2 and 3. So, it will be equation 3 multiplied by 3 plus equation 2 multiplied by 2 and minus equation 1. So, it will be minus 68.3 into 3 plus minus 94.1 into 2 plus 211. Because minus and minus will become plus. If you solve this, you will get minus 393.1 plus 211. So, the answer comes out to a 182.1 kg. And so, the answer here is nearly the fourth option. Let's see the next question. In a closed container, if the container is closed and the liquid is stirred. When the liquid is stirred, means temperature is not equal to 0. When temperature is not equal to 0, means delta U is also not equal to 0. And therefore, when the heat is not supplied inside, means Q is also equal to 0. And when a stirrer is used to carry out the reaction, means some work is done and therefore W is not equal to 0. So, according to this, the answer will be first option. Here, delta E means delta U, that is internal energy. So, here the answer is first option. Let's see the next question. So, the question is, here they are asking you to calculate the difference between heat of reaction at constant pressure and constant volume. So, which equation you will use today? The equation that you will use is delta H is equal to delta U plus delta N R T. Now, they are asking you to calculate the difference. So, it will be equal to delta N. How much is the change in the uh, number of moles here is? This is 1 and this is half. So, it will be half change. So, it will be half multiplied by R value is given in kilocal. I will convert this to cal because the options they are in cal. So, it will be 2 multiplied by the temperature. Temperature here they have mentioned as T Kelvin. So, I will keep this as T. So, delta U, sorry, delta H minus delta U will be equal to T. So, the answer here is first option. Let's see the next question. Here, the heat of formation of ethane, ethylene, acetylene and carbon dioxide, they are given and they are asking the most stable among them is. Students always remember, more the energy released, more is the stability of the molecule. So, if I compare the values here, more amount of energy is released in fourth option, that is minus 395.39 and therefore, that will be the most stable among the given. So, the answer here is fourth option. See the next one. The enthalpy of reaction for HCl they are asking. Here the reaction is given. If you see this, there are 2 moles of this. So, for 2 moles, it is 185. So, for 2 moles, it is minus 185. So, for 1 mole, it will be half of this. That is 92.5. So, the answer here is 4th option. Let's see the next question. The bond energy is the energy required to, it is the energy required to break one mole of similar bonds. So, the, here the answer is third option. Let's see the next one for the reaction. Now, if you see the reaction student, this is for two moles. The energy which is given is by 
point two. They are asking for decomposition of one mole. For two moles, it is five seventy three. So for one mole, it will be exactly half. That is two eighty six point five. But here they are asking for decomposition. So it will be with the positive sign. So the answer here is first option. Let's see the next one. For an ideal gas, the heat of reaction constant pre at pressure and constant volume are related as at constant pressure and constant volume means they are talking about delta H and delta U. You know, students, the equation that is delta H is equal to delta U plus delta N R T. And what is delta H is heat at constant pressure. What is delta U is heat at constant volume plus delta N R T. So this is the equation. So here the answer is third option. Let's see the next one. Hess law is based on actually Hess law is based on the law of conservation of energy. But first law of thermodynamics also gives the law of conservation of energy. Therefore, here the answer is third option. Which of the following is a path function? We have only two path functions that is work and heat. In among the options, only work is given. So answer here is third option. I hope you have understood all the questions. So please do like this video, share it with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more such videos. Thank you students.